Hey, sports card fans, welcome back to Card Yard. I've made a video in a while. Um, last couple rips of the mystery boxes, they weren't really that great. I think a lot of those mystery boxes are going to have a lot of those cold packs in them. We're going to come back to that. I'll rip all the rest of them on camera. Um, I got some uh, some market intelligence. I've been out in the wild looking for cards. Found some really good cheap rips. So I found these at Lids. Three dollars a pack. I don't know if you can find them. There, there weren't not very many lids had them. I went to quite a few lids, but we'll rip these in the video tonight. There's 14 of those. Also, this product is actually back at Walgreens. Honestly, it's pretty hard to find though. 2022 Stadium Club Chrome. It's a great product if you can find it. Um, I went to about 20 Walgreens, and uh, I found this at two of the 20 that I went to, or roughly, I don't know exactly how many it was. One store had one, and one store had two of them. I don't think you'll find more than two at any Walgreens. At least that's not how it is here in the Midwest. Here's some more things I found at Lids. 2022 Stadium Club Blasters for 50% off. $12.50. It's a pretty good deal for that. And then the other thing I was picking up was um, 2023 Stadium Club Blasters, also at Lids. These are only like 20% off, so they're still, uh, they're $19.99, but that's a $20 blaster, like kind of like the old days. Not bad. And then another thing I got at Lids was like a whole bunch of uh, retail boxes of this product. Literally got like seven of them. And the packs are $1.75 a piece. So it's like $42 in some sense for, uh, <clears throat> for retail boxes. Pretty good deal. So we'll get into these. Just one more thing I'll do for show and tell here before we get going. I pulled a uh, rainbow foil, and it was super damaged. So I thought, oh, I'll tear it in half. And uh, lo and behold, the uh, rainbow foil piece on the top, it's actually plastic, and you really cannot tear this. It's too bad, too, Nick Madrigal. Not a great card, but yeah, it was, you know, it peeled off the paper, and anyway, that's how the cards are manufactured. Interesting. So we'll get into these uh, get into these fat packs here. Thanks for watching. The other thing that's been going on is I don't really talk about this too much on the channel, but I'm actually a tax accountant by trade. So there's times in the during the year when uh, there's tax filing deadlines. I get super busy then and uh, don't have a lot of time for this. So. I'm also working like a lot of hours, so it kind of irritates me. Base. We got a backwards card here. Dylan Moore. Oh, the advanced stats out of 300. Kind of really hate that parallel, but there it is. Home run challenge that's way expired. Kyle Lewis, is he still in, even in baseball? I don't know. It's not the rookies in this aren't too good. It's O'Neill Cruz and Strider. And there's an Otani card. Those are like the best three cards you can pull a parallel of. You got like TJ Friedel and Juan Yepes. I've actually ripped a lot of this. Uh, I'm going to make a video of all the short prints I pulled out of this product just to kind of sh give you guys an idea of how much of this I've actually ripped. I'll do it as a separate video. We got a little damage on these cards here. Jose Series, another decent rookie in here. A little corner issue on this blue. Jose Barrero, Bichette, two of those guys. Kutch, base. All right, so there's only 14 of these. I won't spend a lot of time on the base, I guess. So we've all seen that so much. Got another backwards card here. A 
actually looks like a Mariner, but it's got a real terrible hole. Oh. Yeah, look at the corner on it. I'll try to get up on that. It's really bad. Terrible corner. That's the J-Rod short print, though. Um, I'll show you how many of those I've found in all the ripping I've done when I show you my short print video. Oh boy, these are, this pack kind of got mangled here. They're all kind of bad. I don't really even keep bad base cards with bad corners on them. People get upset if I somehow put them in a complete set or something. There's, there's been so much of this rip now. These base cards have basically are almost valueless at this point. It's a nice O'Neill Cruz rookie card, though. Really, J-Rod does deserve his own. Had a down year, but he's kind of coming back a little bit. I'm not ready to give up on uh, J-Rod myself. He seems to be a slow starter every year, though. That's one thing I'll say. I kind of think it might be weather-related with him. Like maybe he doesn't like cold weather in Seattle. It's another Jose Siri rookie. Some bad corners on some of these cards. There's the Strider card. Cover up that Dylan Moore. It's a goldy gold. We've got a, another backwards card. This is probably a blue. It's a blue Will Clark that's terribly off center. So we got a rainbow foil of Goldie. Really off center, Will Clark. It's not numbered. They say there's 600 blue parallels, but they aren't numbered. Yeah, this is kind of my objection to this parallel. You know, it doesn't, there's no difference in the front of the card. The difference is in the stats on the back which that makes for a terrible parallel as far as I'm concerned. They did get rid of it now. It's not in 2024 tops. Speaking of that, I hope everyone's excited for uh, update. That looks pretty amazing. Base, base, base. Kaboom. And we got a gold card behind it of Eric Haas. He is actually a brewer now. He's not a bad little backup catcher. Pretty good hitter. But this one's kind of a big boy right there. I did pull one other copy of this rainbow foil and the one, the other one I pulled had a bad corner on it. I think it was also in a fat pack. There's Kirby. Base. I think we're halfway through, roughly. But that was six, anyway. It's been a pretty good rip so far. There's quite a few cards on stage. I would like to find one short print out of these. That would be my goal. Got in two backwards cards here. Bote. And the Manny, this is the Manny Machado short print right here. Cover up that dinged up J Rod. It was kind of funny because we pulled Bote. The base card was right in front of the Bote gold card. And then we got a Sweet Shades here of Key Brian. Those are pretty sharp cards. Yeah, anyway, the uh, so I guess these were 50% off, so they're marked at $5.99. So they were selling them for three bucks. 
I didn't find too many of them. These are the only 14 I found at the lids. And I went to like 10 different lids. It's kind of funny if you're going to try a new lids that you haven't uh, gone to before. Nice Judge Cabrera. You might want to call ahead because not every not every lids has cards. Some do not. Depends on the floor plan. I don't know exactly. They seem to have multiple different kinds of lids. Some of them are locker rooms and some are not. I think that might be the difference. Jansen Junk. Yelich. There's a nice Aaron Judge. And two more of those. And base. Got five more packs. The Otto Lopez rookie card. Kyle Lewis. I think when you get the generation now, that's about all you get. So we did pull two short prints out of this. That's pretty good. And we got four more packs, including this one here. Not sure what Roman Quinn's on the back. I don't know what he's up to. I'm not even sure if he's in baseball. I don't remember him hearing his name in the last couple of years. All right, we got another another backwards card here. It's another blue. That one's nicely centered, pretty sharp. Corey Seager, the blue bordered eighty-seven parallel, not numbered. Pretty sweet card. Base, and then there's the Mullins generation now. And a bunch of base cards. Three more packs. It's been a pretty good rip. These fat packs kind of seem to be kind of loaded. Everybody was kind of running around buying them at Walmart when they were $5, which was still a pretty good deal. We got that Aaron Judge card again. That's two of those. And base. Last two packs here. Yeah, I noticed that some of these were marked at $4.99. I don't know. I think I paid $3 a piece for all of them. I'm not sure. Base, Boz. Yeah, most of these are just, you know, one insert and two stars of MLB, and that's it. Here it is, last pack. I don't I didn't notice that the security tag makes a difference, but we got Carter Keyboom on the rainbow foil and another Another gold card. It's Piscotti. Not really the guy you're looking for. Carter Keyboom Rainbow Foil. It's a nice card. That's three golds, though. Out of 14 packs. It's pretty decent. I kind of like this little diamond die cut set, mostly because you get guys like Frank Robinson in it. It's pretty cool. And... All base. Do a little recap here. That's probably the hit of the rip, that Otani rainbow foil. Nice Corey Seager. Blue. There was another blue, and then we got three gold cards. We got a Strider rookie. We got this advanced stat card out of 300. Got an O'Neill Cruz rookie on the 87. And we pulled these two short prints. One's the J-Rod that's all dinged up. That's the worst one I've pulled. And uh, Manny Machado. 
and a whole bunch of uh, other inserts and whatnots, including one more blue. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day. Bye now.